Once you open Blender, you will have a similar interface. You can choose from a variety of options based on what you want to edit. For now, we will go with general. The screen with the grid is a 3D viewport. By default, it contains the cube, the camera and the light. To zoom in and out of the viewport, you can either roll the scroll wheel or hold control and press the scroll wheel while dragging your mouse. By simply pressing the middle mouse button, you can orbit in the viewport. For panning, you can hold shift and press the mouse scroll wheel. Now to get into specific views, number pad 1 takes you to the front view, number pad 3 takes you to the side view and number pad 7 takes you to the top view. Now coming to the modeling part, in Blender we have different modes like object, sculpt, edit and so on. For the beginner level object and edit mode is enough. You can switch between object and edit mode by pressing tab on the keyboard. Once in edit mode, you can see that we have vertex points around our cube. We can choose from three selection methods. First is the vertex select, second is the edge select and third is the face select. In vertex select mode, we can select individual vertices and edit them. In edge select mode, we can select and edit edges and in the face select mode, we can select and edit faces. To extrude a face, select the face and press E on the keyboard. Drag your mouse to adjust extent of extrusion. You can extrude different faces and achieve the shape or structure you need. To scale the object, we press S and drag the mouse or alternatively add a number value. To scale along X axis, press S and X on the keyboard. To scale along Y axis, press S and Y. To scale along Z axis, press S and Z. To rotate the object, press R on the keyboard. Press R and X to rotate along the X axis, R and Y to rotate along the Y axis and R and Z to rotate along the Z axis. To move an object, press G on the keyboard. To add a loop cut, press Ctrl plus R. You can scroll the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the loop cuts. You can alternatively specify the number of loop cuts using number pad on the keyboard. Selecting individual faces is time consuming. Instead, hover your mouse on the object and press L to select all the linked faces. Press X on the keyboard to delete the faces, edges or the vertices. To add an object, press Shift plus A. Always remember to switch to object view before adding any objects. Press Alt plus R to reset the orientation. We can add a variety of objects in Blender such as images, lights and cameras. For rendering an image, we require a camera. This pyramid-like structure is our camera. The angle of render depends on the placement of the camera. For rendering, Press F12 on the keyboard. This is how our rendered cube looks. Press number pad 0 to see the camera position. To adjust the camera, go to the view and select camera to view. Now you can move the camera to a desired camera angle. Once satisfied, untick the option. Now if we render, we see a different angle. Press Shift plus D to duplicate an object. Again, you can press Shift D along with X, Y and Z to set its axis. When working with multiple objects, select an object and press number pad period to focus on that object. You can hide objects by pressing H on the keyboard. You can also do this by clicking on the eye icon. Press Alt plus H to unhide all the hidden objects. To isolate an object, press the slash key on the keyboard and it only shows the selected object. This section over here is our outliner. It shows all the added objects. To add material to the cube, select material properties and click on new. 
You can set the base color of your object and add various other material properties. We cannot see the colors yet because we are on solid view. Switch to material preview. Now we can see the red cube. We can also add multiple colors to the faces by making new materials and assigning them. If we select multiple faces, the faces at the back don't get selected. To fix this, we switch to wireframe mode. Now our selection selects everything.